Welcome to Little Lever. We're here on Haymarket Avenue, Little Lever, to have a look at this extended Dharma bungalow. You can perhaps see from here, we've got the property being brought forward at the front. So we've got a nice big entrance porch. Now, this is a very interesting room where this window is here. Uh, that could be a ground floor, fourth bedroom, or an excellent third reception room. We've got the garage at the side, which comes all the way to the front as well. And that's an electric up and over roller shutter door. And we've got double width, brick paved driveway parking to the front as well. Beautiful, mature trees. Lovely laid front garden. And I'll just, normally I'd show the gardens last, but this is the side garden. It's fantastic. <laughs> It's better than a lot a lot of back gardens and properties. The overall plot extends to about 0.11 of an acre. So a load of properties got the garage and you know the extension to the side here. It doesn't take away at all from the plot and the gardens. The garden's nice at the back. So we've got excellent patio space at the back. I'll just show you from this side as well. Really, really fabulous family size home. I'll take you inside and we'll have a look around. So we've stepped inside through the very generously sized entrance porch. We've got the stairs that run up to the first floor. Plenty of understairs storage space to this side. It's a lovely sized welcoming hallway first of all we're going to look in the lounge in the dining room so we're just stepping in through the door and you can see there how the lounge opens up into the dining area and i'll spin the camera around we've got marble fireplace with inset living flame gas fire large upvc window with fitted blinds lovely carpeting two radiators in the living room area and one radiator in the dining room same carpet flows all the way through so it's nice and open plan it works very very well and of course from the dining room here we've got the aspect over the rear garden so lovely relaxation lounge and dining space back into the hallway just have another look there and I'll open up the kitchen door and we're into the kitchen so it's a professionally fitted kitchen with an excellent range of matching drawers base and wall cabinets we've got an integrated oven grill integrated microwave electric hob with extractor over under work surface lighting display shelving drawers and base cabinets of course sink and drainer Mixer tap over, again nice big UPVC window with fitted blinds overlooking the rear garden. I'll show you properly out there shortly. Oh, forgot to mention, we've got the serving hatch through to the dining area from the kitchen. Now we're having a look in the rear entrance hallway. Opposite the kitchen, we're into the utility room. So it's a Worcester condensing gas combination central heating boiler. And this is perfect space for the washing machine. Uh, there's a radiator in here and a UPVC window. It's great to have a separate utility room. You can just leave the machines rumbling away to themselves. Now then, this is a very, very interesting space. Would make a brilliant ground floor bedroom. Would also make a superb third reception room. It's being used at the minute as sort of the home office workspace, um, but would be just as useful as children's playroom such excellent versatile space would suit any number of uses um would make a fab fourth bedroom um from here we've got an internal pedestrian door into the garage i won't dwell too long in here but we've got an electric roller shutter vehicle access door brickwork and it is i think that's the only single glazed window in the property so now we're back in 
Let's call this the work from home space, the children's playroom, the ground floor bedroom. Really, really good size living accommodation, which to be honest, you just don't find in the majority of the properties around here. So much living space. We've got the utility room as well, of course. The kitchen, nice big hallway, entrance porch, plus, and we'll have one last look before we go upstairs, the lounge and the dining room. Spin the camera around once more, and then we'll have a look on the first floor. So we've come up the stairs and we're on the first floor landing where we've got three bedrooms and the bathroom. First of all, we'll look in the master bedroom, which is at the end of the landing. It's professionally fitted. There's an excellent range of matching wardrobes, storage space, bedside cabinets, dressing table and storage cabinets. UPVC window to the front. Radiator, nice feature wallpaper to one wall. It's a lovely size master bedroom. Bedroom number two is opposite us, but first of all, we're just having a look in the white three piece family bathroom suite. So it's a dual flush WC, pedestal wash, hand basin, and then we've got a bath with shower over and Fitted shower screen just in this corner behind the door. We've got built in storage space, very, very nicely tiled, both to the floor and the walls. And there's a radiator. Uh, bedroom three is on this side of the landing as well. Single bed in here at the moment, radiator, and the UPVC window is an emergency escape window. Of course, we hope we never need to use that. Uh, we're stepping into bedroom number two which again is a professionally fitted double bedroom. We've got a lovely big window to the side, matching furniture. So starting at this end, we've got the bedside drawers, dressing table, storage cabinet and drawers, and spin the camera around. We've got wardrobe and storage space to the far end of the room. The aspect out of here is lovely it won't quite come across too well on the camera it never quite seems to but i promise you you can see fields in the distance and the views are very 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 far reaching so a lovely accommodation on the first floor three bedrooms and then we've got the ground floor perhaps bedroom four our third reception room so it's really really versatile accommodation and we'll go outside and have a look at the garden in just a moment so we've stepped outside and we're in the rear garden and hopefully you can see we've got this large brick paved patio area perfect for alfresco dining and barbecuing and entertaining perhaps nice lawn area and raised flower beds to the, to the far end we'll step this way and i'll spin the camera around so you can have a proper look at the rear of the property so you can see the dormer coming out there where uh, where the bathroom is superb space um just catching a little bit of next door but in fact i will show you because that gives you an idea of perhaps other things that can be done you can see that their extension has come out to the rear as well as having the dormer at the back so maybe there's more that can be done if anybody would wish to we'll spin this round so you can see the garden from this angle and I know you saw it before but well you didn't see in here so we've got a sort of bin store this is behind the garage area so the bins are well out of the way we've got the water butts this is a nice space and then we back round and we'll have another look at this side garden really is a wonderful family home absolutely fantastic place to live so much beautiful countryside on the doorstep. Brilliant for schools, shopping, sporting clubs. It's a great location and I hope you like the property just as much as I do. Any questions please give us a call. Cardwell's Estate Agents Bolton 01204 381 281. Thanks so much.